In this movie, we're going to talk about how to set the resolution for your shadow box tool, as well as how to save out custom shadow box tools for future use. So I have a shadow box tool on the canvas in edit mode. I'm going to turn the poly frame button on, and now you can see the actual grid lines on the shadow box tool. If I adjust the resolution slider in the subtool palette, you can see nothing happens until I turn the shadow box button off and then on again, and that creates a new shadow box at that new resolution setting. There's also a polish slider, which adds a certain amount of smoothness to the, uh, to the resulting mesh. So at a polish of zero, I get a kind of a stair-stepping effect in the sides of my mesh. At a higher polish, I get a smoother mesh. So using resolution and polish together, you can determine basically the quality of the resulting mesh. The polygroup button uh, automatically generates polygroups in the resulting mesh created by Shadowbox. Once I have settings that I like, I can save the Shadowbox tool to my Z Tools folder, and I'll name it something like Shadowbox 256 to give an indication of the resolution. And uh, by saving it to the Z Tools folder, uh, it will appear in Lightbox whenever I open Lightbox to the Tool folder.